Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm CEO of ARNAV. ARNAV means Augmented Reality Navigation, and uh, we develop we develop app for uh, mobile devices that should simplify finding po point of interest around you. And it works like this: that you no more look on the flat map. You just use your device and look through the uh, camera view and use this augmented reality mode to uh, give you information like a point of the finger, right? Where something is. So basically we target this app for uh, pedestrians and tourists uh, uh, on the contrary to our competitors who mainly focus on drivers. I use uh, OpenStreetMap as a content and uh, right now we are using we are developing a simple point of interest browser but in the future in the nearest future we want to develop classical turn-by-turn -turn navigation simply that will guide you step by step which way which track you should go but for now we have only showing you the direction where given point of interest is for now we focused on android but definitely we want to develop also for for apple devices it's a working app we want to deploy it by the end, we will try hardly to, to deploy it by the end of this year, but expect it in January or February in uh, Android market. It's all, almost done. Hi, I'm uh, Adrian, uh, in charge of marketing in Steround. So Steround is a mobile phone application available on App Store, and it will change the way you make decisions. Because when you uh, want to make decisions or when you want to tell what you think about something, uh, you like your friends to be here to help you sometime when you hesitate. Staron is the solution. In fact, uh, with Staron, take a photo of what you want, a person, an object, uh, a situation, uh, upload it on Staron, or on Staron and uh, social network, and uh, rate it uh, with stars, uh, and let your friend give you uh, their, their opinion, so that you can get opinion from your friend. So, an example. I take a, a picture, I say, uh, I say okay, I write a question, uh, what do you think about it, do you like it, extra. Uh, I, I can geocalize it, I can share it on Facebook and Twitter in, in the same time, and I, I send it. So I will show you a, an example in my feed. I have this, uh, these shoes that uh, the CEO of Saron uh, posted, Srisak, uh, these shoes, and some people tell, told uh, what they think. One stars, five star, extra, and you you've got a, an average, five stars. So, what a use case for example, I am in a shop, I want to buy shoes, but I'm not sure. I I try shoes, I look at me on the mirror, thirty minutes, I don't know. I need my friend, but they are not here. I I don't want some, I don't want advice from people. I, I don't know. Okay, so I take Staron, I take my shoes, uh, I upload it on uh, all social media and uh, my friend will uh, will rate it. And this is different from uh, Facebook because uh, you, on Facebook you can just uh, like uh, on, on other, uh, on other uh, social media you can like or dislike but here you can uh, tell exactly the rate that, uh, that you give. So it's working, it's uh, available on, on the App Store so that uh, you can uh, download it. Yeah, it's free. Uh, in the future, uh, it will be a great opportunity for satisfaction studies because uh, we, we collect things to stir on what people like and uh, the rate they give to, uh, to product, to services, etc. So we are in the air and we are developing uh, an application called ZMS whose goal is to uh, revolutionize uh, SMS and MMS. Uh, it allows you to uh, send rich message, messages um, with uh, pictures, video, audio, uh, to multiple people. Uh, the revolutionary uh, part of this project is that uh, now, when you receive information, you receive it always at the wrong place and at the wrong time. Uh, you receive SMS as they come, uh, and you cannot uh, easily find what you want uh, from your list of ZMS. With ZMS, you can send uh, information at the right place. Um, in fact, you can add, uh, you can geolocalize your message, and people will receive those messages only when they came near the location you uh, choose to post your message. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, post your co the, the code of your uh, door 
for people just coming to a party. Uh, you don't have to answer each people uh, to tell uh, us, um, to tell them which is the code. You just drop a ZMS in front of your building with the ZMS. The ZMS is uh, only is private. It's only for people you invited, and they will have uh, your code uh, just as they came, uh, they come uh, in front of your building. And you can also uh, schedule messages. So uh, if you want to send all your greetings uh, messages from uh, the 31 uh, December, you just have to schedule all of them at midnight. And, uh, all messages will be uh, triggered at midnight exactly for all your people. For now, uh, the application runs on uh, iPhone. Hello, I'm Kit Blake from Gauss. We're a team of four bootstrapping co-founders starting up a company to improve your social networking. The app scans the neighborhood, it finds interesting people ne nearby, it does a comparison of your interests and their interests. When it finds someone who suggests them, maybe you want to meet up, it coordinates an introduction, finding a location, <coughs> doing the introduction, you put the app away and it continues to work in your pocket. It's a magnet for your pocket. It's aimed at people who want to improve their social networks by using their existing tools such as uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Foursquare. But we use that information to help create the introductions and we expect to make money in a variety of ways. We can do in-app advertising, we can do hyper-targeted uh, location-based stuff, and we also expect over the long term some commercial API possibilities. We're going to be releasing uh, a public beta tomorrow during our pitch. So it's, it's working, but it's a beta. So uh, our startup is called uh, Echo Labs and we're launching our product, Echoer. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a platform that lets you see the ideas and the thoughts in the places around you. Uh, we think it's very difficult right now um, with all the social networks to see what people think in a place very quickly and easily. So you build this app that shows you the ideas uh, on a map right away, and it shows you the most relevant ideas. And if you're interested in looking in, in, in more depth, you can go inside of a place, and you can see the ideas that are in that place. And you can right away uh, understand what people are thinking in this place and what they're interested in. So here someone posted this free food and drinks and that got some votes and that moves to the top. Um, if someone posts an idea, it will come in the side and it will have a chance to get voted. If no one votes for it, it'll move back down. So right away at one glance, you see the ideas and the thoughts and the deals and all the things that are happening wherever you happen to be. So initially we think that people who use this are people who are very active, um, posting on, on, on Twitter, Facebook, and all these, all these systems, um, and we'll, we'll be able to tie into that network as well. So when they post here, it'll go into their network as well. Um, we think they're gonna be the early users of this, but eventually anyone who wants to know what's going on around, anyone can benefit from this. And the way we make money is that we incorporate into these uh, echoes uh, we incorporate um, commercial advertising. So uh, businesses can place ideas uh, by our product or we're having a two for one sale on some product or 50% off. And if people like that idea and they vote for it, then the ad will become bigger and it'll be higher up on the screen. So the advertiser will have more exposure. So the advertiser wins because they get to advertise in the place where the product is sold. And uh, the community wins because the useless irrelevant ads will go away. They'll only see stuff that's relevant to where they are and that other people like. It'll be uh, available for download in, uh, in January uh, for iPhone. Yeah, and then later in the year we're going to be building the uh, Android version.